In this problem, we're told a baseball pitcher brings his arm forward during a pitch, rotating the form about the elbow. The velocity of the ball in the pitcher's hand is 35 meters per second. The ball is 0.3 meters from the elbow joint. What is the angular velocity of the forearm? So what you want to do is draw what's going on. So we have this pitcher. He's going to be throwing this ball. And what you want to imagine when they say it's like rotating around his elbow joint, it rotates in a circle. So you want to imagine this is going to be some circular motion like this. And so what we're given is the radius. So when they say the distance from the ball to the center of the joint, they're basically giving us the radius of our circle, which is 0.3 meters. And they also give us the linear velocity, which is going to be 35 meters per second. And so what we're trying to find is the angular velocity. And so we denote the angular velocity by omega. And basically, we're going to say omega equals question mark because that's what we're solving for. So the way you find omega, given radius and velocity, is by using this formula, which tells us velocity is equal to r omega. So this uh, formula basically, uh, basically relates velocity, radius, and angular velocity. So what we're trying to do is solve for angular velocity. So what we would do is divide by r. So basically, the angular velocity is equal to the linear velocity, v. In this case, it's 35 meters per second. And then you divide by 0.3, which is the radius. And so notice this is in meters. This is in meters per second. So when you do this, the meters are going to cancel, and you're going to get it in radians per second. So even though there's no radians, radians is unitless, so it just becomes radians. So 35, and then you divide by 0.3, you're going to get 116.6666 and so on. So it's going to be about 117, and then we measure it in radians per second. So this is going to be the angular velocity. So 117 radians per second, that's the angular velocity of the forearm. So this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.